Okay, so many people know that our first product was the Overdrive 6-speed. It came out in 98, and um, it was closely based off of the uh, Harley 5-speed design. So the, our Overdrive 6-speed and the stock 5-speed are, are very close living relatives. Um, the design of the OD6 is all straight cut gears, and and we like to say it like this, the OD6 is kind of for uh, down and dirty street racing, and the DD6 is more for touring people. Um, and I'll get into the differences here in a minute. Let me get these pieces parts out of the kit foam here. And so we can get intimate with them. DD6 to offer a more refined six-speed and I did that in about 2003 um, it was this was my last design that I did all by myself you know after 2003 you know we started hiring engineers and growing up a little bit and I got busy running the business and being Bert and you know that's that's my story Yeah, so the, the DD6 came out after the OD6, you know, the OD6 come out around 1998, the DD6 around 2003. It came out after that because I was really seeking some level of perfection, you know, uh, an OE quality gear set. And, and, um, and so that's really the reason why it came out after it. We continue to make both transmissions today. And uh, for the pre-2007 bikes, we offer the DD6 and the OD6. For the 2007 and later, we offer the Grudge Box and the DD7, which is kind of the same thing. You know, the Grudge Box is for down and dirty. The uh, DD7 is for refined touring. And, and when I say refined touring, what it kind of points to is the fact that on the DD6, first through third are straight cut gears for maximum uh, efficiency and minimum parasitic loss. Um, and then four through six are helical. They're helical gears. And they're helical, and helical gears are always quieter than straight cut gears however they do give up a little bit of parasitic loss now in the case of the dd6 and six gear six gear is one to one and six gear being one to one there is no parasitic loss now the dd6 and the od6 differ from the, the big difference is the following with the dd6 six gear is one to one with the stock Harley five speed from that era, fifth gear is one to one. So what we did with the DD6 was to overdrive the primary drive. And that's done by, by with the kit, you get a 28 tooth compensating sprocket to replace the uh, 24 or 25 tooth comp sprocket that you have in stock in your, in your bike and uh, it also includes a fat adjuster shoe like this one and because it's a bigger bigger sprocket you, you get a new chain as well with the dd6 but um it it gives you once installed the dd6 gives you the exact ratios you had with your five speed in other words first through fifth are exactly the same but it has that additional overdriven six gear um, for highway cruising and RPM reduction and, uh, and a reduction in the wear and tear in your motor and, and your fingers and your toes and your ass. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this was the last transmission I designed on my own in, in my rabbit hole. Um, I came up with a concept, I, I designed it all, um, 
all by myself. And um, after that, you know, our company kind of exploded and, and I got a lot of help from engineers because there was a lot to do. The design process on the DB6 was, was kind of wild because I was striving for a lot of improvements and innovations. In the early prototype phase, for example, I experimented with, with uh, crazy architecture on forks that had elaborate gutters that fed drip oil to the leading and trailing edge of the fork. I experimented with, um, instead of a fixed pin, one's mounted on a small radial ball bearing. And um, it was kind of fun, but in the end it was impractical because it was, the cost was prohibitive to manufacture those forks. Um, and in the end, simple was good. One thing that we did, I did um, establish architecturally was the uh, fixed spindle shift drum in the DD6, which is used on all of our products today. So the, the DD6, the DD6 was the first to, instead of the drum, spinning on bearings mounted in the pillow blocks. The drum spins on a fixed uh, spindle, as we call it. And so what that does, what that does, fixed spindle shifting um, eliminates any alignment issues associated with mounting the, uh, the shift drum. And thereby, um, by eliminating those alignment issues, it, it ensures that every time it, you shift, it's gonna shift smoothly and there's not gonna ever be any binding. There's also no shimming or any of that monkey business either, which is very helpful for the, you know, the person installing. Um, we also innovated, or I, I came out with this redundant neutral detent, and its sole function is to um, allow you to find neutral easily. There's nothing more frustrating than being at a stoplight in first gear and, and wanting to let go of the handlebars for a minute and trying to find neutral, trying to find neutral and not being able to. So that redundant neutral detent is, is part of the uh, DD6 architecture and it's part of everything we do now. The, the rider that benefits the most from a DD6 really is the touring rider, rider the guy putting on miles. Um, the, 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 we've had people put 200,000 miles plus on our DD6. Um, it's a very smooth transmission. It's a very quiet transmission. And so uh, for those who are sensitive to gear noise, like they, they want to listen to the piece inside their head rather than gear noise. I personally like the sound of gear noise, but I'm a weirdo. So um, the DD6 really is, is the right transmission for the guy that likes to uh, ride from coast to coast every year, the guy that rides from north to south every year, um, and, and the guy that doesn't want any maintenance problems. Um, it is a maintenance-free um, no bullshit, um, uh, top of the line transmission for anybody that has a 1990 to 2006 Harley Big Twin. Have a great day and God bless America.